Good morning, Junior Church, and a very good morning to anybody who's joining us for the first time today. My name's Natalie, and I'm one of the children's workers at Legacy Church in Walsall. You are very welcome to watch any of our videos and to join us at any time. Now, since Easter, we've been finding out about what happened after Jesus rose again. And he went to meet his disciples who couldn't quite believe this man was alive. Could you imagine being a disciple at that time? You'd watched Jesus die. You'd seen him buried in a tomb. The tomb was sealed. And then all of a sudden, he appears before you. Wow. To be there at that time must have been absolutely amazing. Now, last week, we found out that Jesus told them he was going to send a comforter, a helper. He was going to send somebody else. So if he was going to send somebody else, that means he must have been going somewhere. So today we're going to find out just where he was going and how it happened because that was also amazing. Now, just think for a minute about a time when you felt all alone. You felt abandoned. It could be that you got lost in a shop. You've been so busy looking at the toys and the games that you want to buy that you haven't realised that mum and dad have carried on with their shopping. Well, I can tell you, it feels very uncomfortable and very scary. But the good news is that once we're back with our families, we just feel so relieved and comforted. And that must have been how the disciples felt. So Jesus had died, he'd been taken away from them, and then he was back and they felt comforted to be in his presence again. Now that spent three years following Jesus. They'd seen him perform miracles. They'd heard him teach about God's kingdom. And then when they saw him now to the cross, they were really, really, really sad. But you see, Jesus had already told them this would happen. He'd already said it. And three days after he was buried in that sealed tomb, God raised him from the dead and he did exactly what he told the disciples he would do. Now to prove that he was really alive and he wasn't just part of the disciples' imagination, he stayed on earth with them for 40 days after his resurrection. So after he'd rose again, he stayed for 40 days with them. Okay? So that's good news. But where did he go and how and why? Now, he gave his disciples a very important instruction and he gave them this in the book of Acts and I'm going to read that to you now. So I've got my Bible here and this instruction is on the occasion while he was eating with them, he gave this command, do not leave Jerusalem but wait, wait for the gift my father promised which you have heard about from me. Now, that gift that we know, or we found out about last week, is the Holy Spirit. So he told them, don't leave Jerusalem. Okay. Now, if that means if he's telling them not to go somewhere, that means he's not going to be with them. Now, Jesus left the disciples to return to heaven and be with his heavenly father. And he left the disciples to carry on his good work on earth. Last week we found out about how tricky that can be. To do the right thing all the time. And that's why we get the Holy Spirit as our helper. But the disciples hadn't got the Holy Spirit at that time because they got Jesus, the person, the man. Now Jesus is going to leave them very shortly. Okay. So... When he finished giving instructions to his disciples, his feet lifted off the ground and he began to ascend or go up into the sky. And as he went up into the sky, a cloud hid him from the disciples' sight. Can you imagine how they felt? It's like that time in the shop. All of a sudden you can't see the adults that you've come out with and you're a little bit scared. In fact, you might be a lot scared. Oh, it must have been amazing to actually see that, mustn't it? But scary as well. Now, if we carry on reading in Acts, it tells us that two men dressed in white came down and spoke to the disciples. 
Okay. And here we find that they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go. So, he's not going to stay there forever and ever. He's going to come back for us one day, isn't he? But these two men dressed in white, were they? I think they were angels. And actually, they'd come down as a bit of reassurance for the disciples. So the disciples then knew God had even sent somebody then. So before the Holy Spirit arrived, he'd sent two messengers to speak to them, just to reassure them that Jesus hadn't abandoned them. And that is really good news. Now they had a job to do, didn't they? And he'd given them instructions and he'd said to them, don't leave where? Jerusalem, you're quite right. So they went into a room where they were staying and they didn't waste that time. They didn't leave Jerusalem because they knew if Jesus gave them an instruction, it was best if they followed it. Remember, they knew this man, perfect role model. They loved him, they'd walked with him, they'd eaten with him. So they knew that they should follow that instruction. That was the right thing to do. And they didn't feel abandoned because what they did was they went into this room and they prayed. And I would imagine they worshipped and they sang songs about Jesus. And they waited like they'd been told to do. What do you think they were waiting for? That's interesting, isn't it? Because we know that God's going to send a helper and the Holy Spirit is that helper. So I think that that's what we're going to find out about next week. I think the Holy Spirit is what they were waiting for. Now, sometimes we can't always see what God is doing but we know that he's doing something. Okay, It's not always about what we can see with our eyes. So if you remember back to the story of Noah's Ark, God put a rainbow in the sky as a sign of hope and a promise that he would never leave us again. Okay, Now today, your craft activity, if you keep watching, is going to make a rainbow at the very end of it. Okay, And it's got God's promise on it that he will never leave us. So keep watching, have a go at it, send me some pictures or upload them into our Legacy Friends Facebook group because I would love to see your work. And I'll see you next week to find out what happens when the Holy Spirit comes to visit the disciples. Take care.